What exactly does the dynamics knob in Session Players in Logic Pro for iPad do? In this video, I'm gonna show you, let's go. If you're new to Logic Pro for iPad and you'd like to learn how to use it to create, record and release your best music, check out the other videos in the description. The new session players here in Logic Pro for iPad are great. We've got keyboards, we've got guitars, we've got drums, and they have a whole bunch of features. But one of the features I've been asked about the most is in the details tab and it's called dynamics. What are dynamics and what does this dial actually do to your session player? Let's take a look. In simple terms, dynamics are loud parts and soft parts. And the more dynamics you have, the more difference there is between the really loud bits and the really quiet bits. So if you would like a really dynamic performance, you can turn it up. And this means there'll be many more louder and softer parts in your performance. If you would like your performance to be all at the same consistent volume, you can turn dynamics down to zero. That's fine to say, but it's easier to hear it. So let's jump in and hear this piano with zero dynamics. So you can hear there that it's very consistent. The volume of all of these hits is very consistent. There's not many loud parts or soft parts. Let's, however, turn this dynamics knob, not up to 11, but up to 200%. And let's hear the difference in dynamics now. Can you hear how it ebbs and flows? It hits on the first note and then it falls away and you get loud and you get soft parts. This is essential if you want to get a really interesting and dynamic performance from your session players. Let's jump into our bass and check out the same thing. So at the moment, dynamics are right up the middle here, which means there's a little dynamics thrown in there. But if we want our bass to be really consistent, we can dial it all the way down and we get something like this. Let's turn the bass up a little bit and turn the dynamics around to 200% and hear what this bass sounds like with a little more dynamic range. So you can hear it hits those notes harder sometimes and softer at other times. So it really does help you out. Now your bass isn't gonna have as much dynamics as a keyboard, just naturally. And the same with your drums, you can use this on your drums instrument for your session player as well. So dynamics, a simple thing, but a really handy little tool to have in your kit bag when it comes to session players. To learn a whole lot more about using Logic Pro for iPad 2 to create your best music, check out the other videos in the description. I'll see you next time.